Okay, Scorpio, so this is reading number four for today. Actually, this would be reading number five because we did do um, the daily messages today, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. So I'm going to do an all signs... Okay, we have bonus cards. Let's see here. Here we go. Bottom of the deck is keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional string along um, one night stand. I feel like a one night stand was supposed to be just that, a one night stand, but it turned into something more. Sorry about the glare. Okay, so your two bonus cards are date, yeah, when I stand turned into something more. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plans at a date, and then you have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call slash person, boundaries still angry. So I feel like somebody fell for you or you fell for someone and you guys are not ready to talk yet. That's what I'm getting. Seduction. Oh, afraid of seduction. Afraid of being seduced. All right. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Clock. Need time. Takes time. Told you not ready. Take, takes time in time cycles. Time to heal and progress. Abundance. Wow. You know that expression, and I know I'm a reader, and I know they only give me limited information, but let me say this. You know that expression, if you want to tell God your plans, make him laugh. If you want to make God laugh, tell God your plans. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Now, I feel like you think something is supposed to be just a hookup or somebody thought something was supposed to just be a hookup and just leave you as an option and they got the game all the way fucked up or you got the game all the way effed up because that's not the case or isn't the case here so let's see what the heck is going on. Here we go. Bottom of the deck. Oh, y'all were sent to heal each other. Y'all are. Wow. Okay, you definitely supposed to be with each other. Yep, look at this, rebirth. I don't feel like it could be a forever thing, but I do feel like you were destined to be in each other's life to slow your ass down and to gain from this abundance. Yep, so I can't make this up. That's the Four of Swords. Here's the Queen of Pentacles to make you guys stronger. Soldier up. So right now you guys aren't talking, but this won't be for forever. You're not speaking to each other. You're not talking to each other. But this is not a forever thing. It will get back to where you guys are going to speak to each other. So this will be Libra, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Sag, um, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Virgo. All right, clarify the Four of Swords, please. Four of Swords represents rest and taking a break from each other. You know that the two of you have um, some healing or some have have a way of speaking to each other that would break let me say if you were to connect with this person 
the healing wouldn't begin. It would just be about seduction. Clarifying that is a seven of swords. Yeah, so staying away from each other is the best thing that you could do at this time. All right? So we're trying to come in as stability, security, um, with the Queen of Shields. And that's being clarified by the Four of Pentacles. More growth. What's happening moving forward is the Strength card. Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Running away. Which one of you is the runner? Which one of you is the chaser? Oh, you eventually get to work. <laughs> That's the break. Okay, so this would be what happened before, what could have made you guys stronger. So this is the second time around. Because what happens moving forward is the rebirth. And that's the working together with the three of pentacles. I was like, that doesn't make no sense. Because they just told me that you guys are supposed to be working things out. So if you want to make God laugh, tell me your plans. That's definitely here. So truly walking away from this person and being single, that's not happening. As you can see. Most of you have not moved on from each other. The Empress and the Emperor keep showing up here. Here's the King and Queen of Pentacles. And the Father and Mother keep showing up here. So clarifying the Nine of Wands, please. I'm going to ask another question, so stay tuned. I'm going to do a different spread. I have a question. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you got to examine um, your past. Okay, so that's not just for you. That's for the both of you. The fool was there for the new beginning. Okay, um, let me show you. Here was a fool and the new beginning. All right, so I need to know what's the plan for them as far as a romantic relationship. What's the plan for them? Why is a romantic relationship, please? So Spirit said you can choose each other if you want to, but you don't have to. I mean, you you can, You this definitely looks like twin flame energy. See, even commitments and everything keeps coming out here. So you can choose each other if you want to, but I wouldn't suggest it at this moment while you guys are going through your healing that's just my opinion it's up to you message